Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Hager number 701S-MIL. This is an interlocking strip, or also known as a J-hook. If you use your imagination, you can see why we call it a J-hook. This is a accessory, required accessory, for an interlocking threshold. This is the item that gets nailed to the bottom of the door, and when the door is closed, the opening of the hook strip will mate to the lip of the threshold. I, it, it just occurred to me that I happen to have a piece of interlocking threshold here. that I can use to demonstrate. Okay, I was able to find one. And while this is an atypical interlocking threshold, it is still capable of giving us the concept. When the door closes, the interlocking threshold literally mates to the lip here. Okay. Now generally you don't see often this profile of threshold with a bump up style and an interlocking lip. But the fact of the matter is just simply imagine that you had this lip and then it would, this lip here, and then the rest of the threshold would come down. You get the concept that when your door opens and then closes, that hook strip is gonna mate perfectly to the face of that lip, okay? This hook strip is not for this threshold. There are two different companies, which is why that fits quite tightly there. Um, the, this is not a Hager threshold but it uh, serves the purpose of demonstrating the concept. This hook strip is available separately because there are times when you need to install them separately because the threshold's already installed, meaning sometimes you just have to replace this. Why? You take the door off the hinges uh, because you're moving in a couch or things are being painted, and then you set the door down and you realize, oh gosh, I just crushed the hook strip. Or, you set it down and then you rehang the door and the door is not closing and you get down there and look and you realize maybe you were never aware of it. There was a hook strip there. So you'd buy it for that purpose only. Um, I'm not aware of people purchasing these for other unknown instances. I suppose, um, I suppose there must be maybe part of a interlocking weather stripping. Uh, maybe you've got an L bracket that's going to fit into the mouth of the hook strip, maybe that would be a reason why you'd buy this only, but you're gonna see it on the bottom of doors uh, for sealing interlocking thresholds, which are incredibly elegant ways to seal the bottom of the door because of that very positive mechanical seal that's there. Now, one feature that I specifically like about the Hager interlocking threshold is their hook strip it has this little giddy up feature. It's not flat all the way across as some other people's are, that serves two purposes. It serves a purpose which has a positive derivative. That will allow you <clears throat> to get the nails, which are included, the head of that nail in that area, and then the head of the nail is flush. If this was flat, the head of the nail would be hanging into the area that the door needs to slide over the top of the threshold. If that was the case, you'd need a much wider opening here, okay, which would then force you to have a greater undercut under the door. The fact that when this aluminum is roll formed, and I don't know that it's roll formed, but I expect that it is. I don't know how else it would be manufactured because I don't know, because that's not my area of expertise. Um, they, they create that profile to it just for the head of the, head of the nail. So that makes it very nice. Uh, being aluminum, it will be quite simple to uh, trim. I would really, uh, not cut this with aviation snips, you're obviously going to crush that down. You don't want to do that. Thickness of the material, probably 25 thousandths would be my guess. Ooh, the kid's good. 0 0.022. 0 0.022 thick is what that material is. And then again, nails are included. So you're going to get that underneath the door and you're going to apply that down. Now, uh, if you're doing a new installation, just because we're talking about hook strips, let's talk about quickly, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to whip up a couple of sketches here and I'm going to pause the video while I do it. Now the standard installation is going to look like that. Okay, You get the concept of how that's going to work and that's a real common way of doing it. That is the common way of doing it. 
Now, when you do an interlocking threshold with a hook strip, you could also notch the bottom of the door so that you can run the door down a little bit longer in height so that you can greater, to a more greater extent, obscure the bottom of the threshold and also actually help weather seal it, weather seal it in the process. And this drawing is larger, but imagine that where you notch the bottom of the door and obviously your door was going to swing in that direction. That would allow you to hold that door down a lot better and that inside corner that you're going to have there will certainly serve a better purpose at keeping uh, the bottom of the door sealed as well. And mortising or notching the bottom of the door is a, is a common way that that's done uh, as well. In new installations, if you're spending $18 trillion on a custom two and a quarter inch mahogany opening with side lights, it'd be very common that your people, your door supplier are gonna notch the bottom of that door, never even mention it. Um, I would prefer it to be notched if it was my installation because again, I can drop the face of the door down on the inside a little bit further, not much, but a little bit further and it will help disguise the bottom of the threshold installation as well. The Hager 701S-MIL is also available in an MIB, which would be a bronze finish, which would be very common and typical if you were going to do a architectural bronze or solid brass threshold. Finally, there's a link below, almost finally, there's a link below this video to the product brochure, which will show you some different interlocking thresholds uh, from Hager. There's also a link to the installation uh, instructions, which is very simple, simple in the sense that they've not given you a lot of installation instructions. Measure, cut the length, install it down, put some caulk, you're done. So um, not much benefit there, unfortunately. There is a technical drawing called template that's here that will give you the dimensional properties uh, beyond what I've given. Overall depth of that item as well as 7 eighths. They have it at one inch. My tape measure is saying it's just a bit shy on that. Okay. And you can see that 16th of an inch um, offset uh, that is on that item. Now, finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page within our website where you can review not all, only all of the Hager products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website as well as a link to the full product catalog. The name Hager is synonymous with all things architectural hardware related, hinges, door closers, lock sets, exit devices, weather stripping, trim and auxiliary, but it's their namesake, Hager Hinge, that people most widely know Hager for. Everything as it pertains to residential, commercial, institutional, prison application hinges, standard, custom, uh, all uh, continuous hinges they obviously get into as well, and they've been doing so since the mid-19th century. If you have any questions on the Hager, their part number 701S-MIL hook strip or interlocking threshold strip or any other Hager product, please feel free to reach out to us, and thank you.